Hello viewers, today let's talk about how we can replicate a synthetic call option. Um, a synthetic call option or a synthetic put option can be replicated by using put call parity. What is put call parity? And that is Put call parity gives you the relationship between a call and a put when they are of the same strike and same with same expiration dates and they are European options. European options don't have early exercise feature. Okay. So how can a synthetic call option can be replicated? A synthetic, a synthetic call option can be replicated by going long put option and a long forward. All instruments have same strike and expiration date. Also, this applies to European options only because these are the necessity conditions for put call parity. So in short form, C is equal to a portfolio consisting of a put long put option and a long forward. Similarly, a synthetic put option can be replicated by going long call option and short forward. All instruments have same strike and expiration date. Also, this applies to European options only because these are the necessary conditions for put call parity. And the value of a put can be replicated by a portfolio which is long call and short forward. Now, let's go to our Excel file and see how this can be replicated. So, let's take uh, an option which has a strike price of 90 okay and if the spot price goes from 0 to 400 then the intrinsic value of the call option is like this the intrinsic put up the intrinsic value of the put option is like this and the forward is like this so the strike price is 90 for a call option there is no payoff until 90 but after the spot price goes over 90 the payoff goes up and let's say at 400 the payoff of the call option is is 310 so that's where it is here so at um, 285 at, at, at 375 it's 285 and so on Whereas for put, when it hits the strike price of 90, the payoff is zero. But as long as the stock price is less than the strike price, there is a payoff. The maximum payoff is when the strike price is at zero. Now, what is a forward? Now, if you want, to, so if you see the forward, you see certain losses here. So any price below 90, you are going to lose money and wherever it is greater than 90 you are going to be making money now how does this happen right so what does the how does the synthetic call option be replicated it can be a call option can be replicated by going long put and long forward right so here is the call option I got so what I will do is I'll try to replicate the same thing here. Replication of call. So the call option is the call option will give you the put plus forward. So replication of call is put plus Forward. that is this is a portfolio of long put and long forward so now once you have this let's look at this guy and let's replicate this guy again so I'm going to replicate the call option
So I got to change it to H, the y-axis, which is replicated value. So this is H to H42. So yeah, so now let me do a small trick. So you might be thinking I'm playing around with this, but now I'm going to change this. So first let's replicate put. A put can be, a synthetic put can be replicated as, how does a put option come up? Put option equal to call, long call by portfolio, long call and short forward, right? So now here you go. So I say, long call which is this and short forward this so this gives me you see this this is the replication of put so the replication clearly clearly shows clearly shows that here is the put option actual values that are coming from here and using put call parity, I have been able to replicate the same payoff line. Okay, for a, now I'm going to change it to a replica. I will replicate a forward with this. How can a forward be replicated? Forward can be replicated by a long call and short put, or it's call minus put gives you forward so what I'm going to do is replication of forward and I'm going to say call minus put gives you this see here you go this is the forward replication that's what it is now finally let's get back to the original question how do you replicate the payoff of a call option by put call parity that is going by long put and long forward long put plus long forward gives you the replication of call so this is what is how do you how you can replicate a synthetic call so you go long put and long forward you get a synthetic call this is by put call parity so call plus put plus call gives you put plus put plus forward gives you the call that's what we did here this is what we did here that is put so put plus forward sorry put plus forward gives you the call that's what we are saying here put plus forward gives you the call now he's saying the put can be replicated by long call and short forward and here we go let's do it again that is long call and short forward gives you gives you the put. See, this is the same as this, the original. So, call and short forward. So this is how you replicate a synthetic call and a synthetic put option. Thank you.